Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, wow, this is another daily dose of Daily Wire dipping into Disney's... Uh, Just dipping into Disney. Dipping into Disney, I guess. Uh, yeah, a day or two ago, we did a video talking about how a former Disney showrunner is now going to be in charge of Daily Wire cartoons of animation, which I didn't even know was a thing, but it's a thing. And they're throwing money at uh, animated projects. I know the Daily Wire is spending like a hundred million dollars. Hey, Daily Wire, let me take this opportunity to tell you about our projects that we have <laughs> going on, that if you're going to throw money and have shows made, you can talk to us anytime about Shadowbinders or Crimson Wren or many of our other ideas that we haven't produced yet. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Sorry, yeah. I had to get that in there. Talk we'll take agent. your money. Talk to our agent. Um, we do have one, by the way. Yes. Anyway, uh, so, you know, I, I didn't really know that they were doing this much with entertainment. I knew they did the Gina Carano uh, Western movie. I knew yes, that they were doing I didn't know they were doing stuff. animation, though. No. And they just nabbed another Disney executive. That's not true. I knew they were doing animation that they were trying to do as an alternative to, like, the keep it back to center yeah. kind of thing, which is, I think, what everybody wants. They just want it back to center. I mean, I have no problem with diversity and inclusion. I have a problem with it being used as a, a hammer over the head to people, <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, so in the span of a week, there are announcements that they've nabbed to, to Disney people. Now, uh, this individual. Yeah, we used to work for Disney too. Just, if that's a, that, that is a helpful hit, you know, any, in any way. Uh, this, this person, uh, Eric Caballero, as far as I can tell, he worked, uh, he worked for Amazon and he also uh, was in charge of like the Disney movie club for a while. But um, it's really interesting that they are poaching executives from Disney. Now, I, I have to admit, I, I dismissed the Daily Wire at first. I'm like, why is a, why is a conservative news outlet doing cartoons, media, and it's like, oh my God, they're gonna do this like really far right stuff, whatever, and it's gonna all be political propaganda. You, still, then, you don't want the other extreme. Right, but then I'm starting, to, like you look at the other side of it, in reality, it's like, well, Disney owns ABC and Warner Brothers owns CNN. And so it's fair. It it's sense. kind of, I guess it's kind of the same thing, but we're gonna talk about this uh, objectively here. Um, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 274,000 mm -hmm. subs. Uh, thank you so much for the, the uh, support. Uh, speaking of support, speaking of support, uh, Crimson Ren Geeky mentioned it. Uh, we will be launching this week on Indiegogo. It is over 130 pages of uh, full color comics. It's um, This is half of the story that has been in the works for 10 years. Um, speaking of animation, we have someone with a pedigree in animation, Jose Garcia. Uh, who's worked for DreamWorks and Netflix and Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network doing the art on it. Geeky came up with the story. We wrote the script together. Yeah, and if it helps, Daily Wire, uh, Disney actually optioned a couple of these. <laughs> so. We did, yeah. We actually... <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm being so detroit. You're, you're, you're being I, um, I'm just, I'm just, such a grifter. I'm oh, my God. Anymore. Oh, my God. How just, dare you? I'm just How trying. I'm, you? I'm, just, I'm just kidding, mostly. You're a Nazi. Anyway. I don't think they're going to be calling us up. It's more of a joke than anything. But anyway, go ahead. You're a Nazi who wants the Jewish man's money. That's right. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I always get so, I always, I have to admit though, when people go off about, you know, the Daily Wire and, you know, all this other crap and they're like, you know, Nazis and stuff. And I have to laugh because I'm like, dude's Jewish. I thought, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, always find that so like, funny. Whatever. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So he did, he did nab another uh, Disney executive. Um, coming from the Hollywood Reporter. So what's really interesting about this, and before I get into this, I, I want to talk about, you know, we're seeing executives getting laid off all over the place. Yeah. Warner Brothers, they just, uh, I think she said she stepped down, but I think they got rid of her. She was the head of Warner Animation Group uh, after five years. Why um, would you just step down for no reason? No, she got gone. And they're, they're pairing people back. They're talking Cartoon Network is going to get gutted. Um, we're seeing cutbacks all over the place. Meanwhile, other companies, Tubi, which is owned by Oh Robert yeah, I Murdoch, said this to you, yeah. Yeah, they're they're ramping up animation. Yeah, okay. not co cocaine. Not, not cocaine. Co not cocaine. Uh, they're doing adult animation. Uh, Tubi, of course, we've talked about them before. Owned by Rupert Murdoch, who was the Fox guy. Oh yeah, and speaking of Fox, Fox is making movies now too. Mm -hmm. Like what? So you've basically got these conservative owned or conservative news outlets, or at least maybe they're not conservative, but they're not quote unquote woke, uh, ramping up production as traditional Hollywood is laying people off. Hey, Tubi, we've got a show. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. However, I want to point out on the, on the Scooby-Doo, I think the hair on those characters is done very well. 
I don't know why, but I really like, like it. Doll hair. I think it's beautiful. Uh, now she's, I want to point that out. She uh, it wasn't worth a whole video, honestly. I, I don't know her, but um, she she has a pedigree. She worked on you know Iron Giant. It's so, what Scooby does not have. Um, yeah, Scooby doesn't have. Yeah, Scooby's, Scooby's a nut. Scooby went to the pound. Um, I don't know if he's going to be released or not. But anyway, uh, so this is coming from the Hollywood Reporter. What what I was going to say was. The mainstream Hollywood media outlets are not averse to covering this anymore. Cartoon Brew is yeah. even covering it. Four or five years ago, they wouldn't have touched the Daily That's Wire true. with a 10 foot pole. That they would have been true. like, there's no way in hell we're going to I wouldn't even about say it. a year ago. Even a year ago. Now I would say like, even a year ago, yeah. Now they're just like, yeah, okay, whatever. You know, well, you can't ignore it. it. When they're putting that much money behind it and they're getting these no. shows and they're getting these big people, you can't like just. No. You not know, talk about it anymore. Right. And that's what they tried doing. They all tried to be like, well, we're not going to talk about these comics. We're not going to talk about this, these cartoons because it's, it's Nazi, Nazi comics. Do you remember not that long ago when there's all these networks that would do shows and cartoons and you talk about different deals or doing new shows that are coming out and you didn't know how they, they how they personally voted or cared? <laughs> Nobody cared. Nobody cared. And we're finding out now, like if you really look into it, um, that a lot of people that worked in the entertainment industry for years without there being problems were actually concerned or conservative leaning people they just again it wasn't something that was discussed day to day that has been a more recent thing mm -hmm. and uh you know 2016 the election broke people and that became an inquisition you had to go around and find out who all your co-workers voted for or what their beliefs were and if you weren't on board with whatever the uh the sentiment of the day was you were ousted the only thing i knew of that, that i knew they leaned conservative was flipping veggie tales and yeah. everybody watched veggie tales because it was funny yeah, there, um, there were non-Christians watch Veggie Tales. You are his cheeseburger. Can't wait for you. It was a good show. It was a funny show. And it didn't matter if you're Christian or not. But you knew that one was a Christian show. Yeah, that was very obviously Christian. Yeah. <laughs> so it was Davy and Goliath and Superbook. Remember Superbook? The Christian yes. Anime? It was like the Magic Bible. Oh, that's our new, that's what we're going to pitch, the Magic Bible. No. No, that's not, nobody wants to watch that. Anyway, uh, Daily Wire hires former Disney exec, um, the conservative media outlet. Now, Okay, this is also a change. The last couple of articles I've read about the Daily Wire, the Daily Wire, the far right mm. media outlet, now it's like, oh, they're just conservative. It's like, yeah, well, yeah. Because... It's, it's changing. It's Things are changing. People are like, yeah, whatever, we're over it. Uh, conservative media outlet founded by Ben Shapiro has hired a Disney vet to help grow its subscription streaming business. Again, this is right after they hired a Disney showrunner, uh, the gentleman who was in charge of the Rapunzel series, to come over and, and produce an animation for them. They've tapped uh, Eric uh, Caballero as the new CMO, overseeing all marketing for the company, particularly as it continues to invest in the entertainment business, arguing that legacy companies like Disney have abandoned their family-friendly roots. I would agree with that. Mm -hmm. Disney doesn't want your families. Disney no. wants, you know. They want the rich people. They want the, or the people rich people that think they have money single, and no kids. Well, even the commercials they had, we just saw the, the new Disney 50th commercial. It was all like adults going to Disney by themselves. Funny, funny thing, Disney. You do know that diverse people have kids, right? You know, people that are, are, are not straight also have children. Yeah. I, I, I mean, they're also yeah. families. I'm just I'm just putting that out there. You know that, right? Okay, Caballero. Most, I wonder if he has two brothers. Maybe the three Caballeros. Uh, most recently worked as, a, my head as a VP in Disney's media and entertainment distribution group. Among other projects, he will lead marketing for the Daily Wire Plus, a company streaming platform, um, where it includes politically focused content from The Wire as well as some other conservative programming. They said that they're going to commit $100 million to produce kids and family fare, expanding into original movies. Um, like Gina Carano's movie, mm -hmm. uh, Terror on the Prairie, which actually sounds sounds like a sci-fi movie, you know, like some... I didn't watch it. I, I didn't watch I'm sorry, I didn't watch it either. Earlier this month, the company hired Chris Sonnenberg, who worked on the Rapunzel show. Um, this is what he said, I studied Disney's traditions of customer obsession, of multi-generational franchise building, and of broadening Hollywood's best talent. He said in a statement, The Daily Wire is building on this blueprint successfully enough the storytellers and media execs are taking notice and signing on. Exactly. Yep. And um, again, we have a show. <laughs> but you are shameless. You are shameless. I am. You know what? You Money's gotta money. Gotta hustle. Money's money, right? My, girl, um, my goal is to get one of these shows picked up. We've been trying for years, people. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so anyway, and here's the thing. Like, it does look, I'm, I'm being completely objective. At this point, legacy media are laying people off. Netflix is cutting back on its animation. Warner's cutting back on its animation. But Tubi and The Daily Wire and freaking Fox News are actually 
getting more and more into entertainment. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think a lot of it, I'll tell you, it's beyond the politics, right? I think a lot of it's just bloat. A lot of these legacy entertainment companies are top heavy, they're mm -hmm. bloated. And uh, a lot of, uh, like Tubi I know runs at Lean and Mean over there. And I, I expect they'll probably do the same thing over at, at uh, Daily Wire yeah. too. So they can get stuff out the door and not have to pay these ridiculous rents and ridiculous, you know, whatever. But um, pretty interesting stuff, I guess. We're gonna wrap this up. Yep. All right, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.